So we're actually starting standing today, everybody. So stand in the middle of your mat. We want it to be wide ways and just have your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna draw a big circle with our arms up and overhead and then bring your chin to your chest and start to roll forwards. I want you to go really slowly here. Feel your spine unstacking one bone at a time. Keep your knees straight as far as you can and then just soften the knees Press through your heels and start to roll yourself back up, bone by bone, as slow as you can, really pulling through the stomach muscles. Let's bring those arms up and overhead and go again. Big circle around, chin to chest, rounding your spine. Imagine there's a bar underneath your belly that you're trying to roll over the top of and just move really slowly there. You might feel like you've got a little more flexibility that second time around. Soften the knees, press through the heels, pull the ribs and hips towards each other, press down through your legs and roll yourself all the way up. One more time, arms come around, chin to chest and we'll roll all the way down. Again, pulling the belly up towards the spine and then just keeping the knees straight, bring your fingers towards the floor. We're gonna heel and toe our feet out wide not too wide, but just to the point where they're much wider than your hips. And then walk your hands around the side of your left ankle. And then walk your hands around the side of your right ankle. And we're just going to swap here side and side. Stay nice and relaxed through the neck and shoulders. And then let's go around to the back of that left ankle one more time. And stay there. Bend that knee and feel that nice stretch down the inner thigh of the right leg and then we'll press up and swap and then press up and swap. Try and again stay relaxed through your shoulders, stay open through your chest and just feel that alternating stretch through the inner thigh there. One side to the other and then let's move across to the left ankle, hold it there and then we're going to turn. So we're going to turn sideways and sink your hips down to feel an opening through the front of your right hip. Lift your chest up nice and tall there and then press back straightening both knees and feel the back of that left leg stretching in that triangle shape. Let's sink forwards and down opening the front of the hip and then press up and back stretching the back of the leg. Let's go forwards and down and then drop that knee to the floor and raise your hands up to the ceiling. Tuck your pubic bone under here, really pull it up towards your belly button and connect your ribs to your hips. Let's grab the right wrist with the left hand and just pull it across and feel a deeper stretch through the front of that hip and then the side of your body. From there, straighten up and then lunge forward a little bit further and then sweep the hands back and straighten that front leg. Well, close enough to straight. Let's lift the hands to the ceiling, opening the front of the hip and then press back, straightening the front leg. One more time, we'll go up and then stretch back and then come forwards again. We'll place the right hand on the ground, stretch the left hand up to the ceiling and then lift that back knee off the ground and get a nice twist through your spine. Holding there just for a moment, let's bring that hand back to the floor. Straighten up through both knees, back into that triangle pose and then shimmy yourself back around to the front. From there, let's go back into our alternating knee bends, stretching out those inner thighs Get tight, side to side. Particularly when you are pregnant, you can get really tight through some of these muscles as your body starts to take on more load. So let's shift over to the right leg now and then turn sideways and drop your hips forward, opening the front of that left hip. Lift your chest up nice and tall and then press back, straightening both knees, making that triangle shape. And then sink forwards again, opening the front of the hip and lift up triangle shape. Let's come forward one more time and then drop that knee down, raise your hands to the ceiling. Tuck your pubic bone under, pull the belly in, grab onto your left wrist with your right hand and then pull across, feeling a deeper opening through the front of that hip. Hold there for a breath in. And out, straighten back up to the ceiling, lunge forwards, and then sink it back, getting that hamstring stretch. Lunging forwards, 
opening through the front of the hip and then stretching back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's go one more time each way, lunge forwards, sweep back and then come forwards again, bring your right hand, sorry, left hand to the floor, right hand to the ceiling and straighten through that back leg. Get a really good twist through the spine here. Bring your hand back to the floor and then from here we're going to lower both knees to the ground and find your four point kneeling position. Let's slide your right hand under your left arm, get a twist through your spine and then press up and swap. Twist in the other way, slide your shoulder towards the ground. Let's go one more time to each side, slide through, get that twist and then other side. And get that twist. Coming back through centre, we're going to have our knees a little further back. So we're not, not directly under the hips there. So the hands are a little bit further forward. I want you to keep your elbows really straight. Think of engaging through your belly here. And then without bending your arms, lower your chest towards the floor and feel your shoulder blades come towards each other. And then press the ground away. Lift your chest up away from the floor. Feel a rounding through the shoulder blades or a doming through your upper back. Again, sinking down, keeping the elbows straight and then pressing away and broadening the shoulder blades. Keep going with this. So I just want you to get used to those two different feelings of your chest sort of sagging and your shoulder blades coming towards each other. And then your chest lifting up and away and your shoulder blades broadening. We're gonna do some tricep work. And I want you to always feel like you're pushing the ground away, even as your body comes towards the ground. We don't want to feel that sagging position. So let's press the chest up, keep a broadness across your shoulder blades, and then shift your weight forwards over your hands. So you're in a bit of a half plank position. We're going to keep the elbows really narrow, and we're going to work nice and slowly. So bend your elbows back towards your ribs, sink your chest towards the floor, you don't have to go very far, and then press yourself back up and away. Sink nice and slow, your body weight comes forwards over your arms, over your hands, and then you press through the heels of your hands to lift yourself back up. The slower the better, and the narrower the better. So you should feel like your upper arms are literally getting sort of stuck against your rib cage there. Sinking down, weight comes forwards, and then we press away, and just take a moment to check that you're always doming your upper back because we want to really isolate the triceps here. We don't want to use any other muscles that we don't need. Belly is on, press away. Let's go one more time. Sink down to about halfway, and then just little pulses here. Keep those elbows narrow, triceps are burning. Let's do another five, four. We've got a child's pose after this. Three, two, one, press it up, sink back. Knees wide if you've got a belly. Otherwise, just sit back towards your heels and let your hands reach forward. They're so hard to do, but once you get them right, they're so effective. So we're gonna do a, a few sets of triceps today. Let's come forwards again onto the hands and knees. And this time, when you come into that half plank position, so shifting your weight forwards over your hands, I want you to hold a little more firmly through your pelvic floor. So think about drawing pelvic floor up Remember the elevator in the 10 story building. Let's go up to level three or four. So a little bit more firm. See if you can keep everything still and bring your left hand to touch your right shoulder. And then your right hand to touch your left shoulder. We'll just alternate here. And I want you to remember that cross shape we drew last week. So it went from your breastbone to your pubic bone. And then from one of your pelvis bones across to the other pelvis bone. Now, while you're doing this exercise, just think of all those different points connecting to the center of that cross, right below your belly button. Keep that pelvic floor switching on. And then let's do a different arm movement. We're gonna reach one arm forwards and back, forwards and back. If you feel like you're losing your plank position, just think of connecting your ribs towards your hips a little more firmly. Keep going. And then let's do one more for each side. Well done. Sit back into that child's pose again. Knees wide if you've got a belly. Hold there for a moment. And then come forwards again. One more set of triceps. So hands are out in front of us. 
we shift our weight forward over those palms, we squeeze our elbows in, so the creases of your elbows are pointing straight forward, and then let's lower down, chest towards the floor, and then press up through the heels of your hands. Sink down, and then press up. Let's keep using the pelvic floor here. Every time you press through your arms, see if you can squeeze a little more firmly, or lift a little more through that pelvic floor. Let's do another four, and press. Three. Good, you definitely don't have to go low. Two. One more time, we've got our little pulses. Let's go. Five, four, three, narrow elbows, two, one, press it back, well done. From this position, creep your hands over to the right hand side of your mat and just feel a deeper stretch down your left shoulder. Hold that for a big breath in, really feel your ribs. And then bring your hands over to the left side of your mat, feel the right side of your shoulder stretch and hold that for one big breath in and out. Well done. Rolling onto your left side. And from here, we're gonna get into some glutes. So let your head rest on your arm. Sorry, I'm mirroring you, so you're on your right side. Bring your feet up to, towards the ceiling, and then just make sure you've got a gap under your waist. So your hip bones are pointing straight forward. You've got length down your side, and then we're gonna open that top knee up and down. So lifting the left knee up, and down, keeping the heels glued together here and feeling just a little squeeze through that glute as you lift and lower your leg. Full range, I want you to take your knee up towards the ceiling and then all the way down to touch the other leg. You open up and down. Make sure it's the heels that are together. Not so important about the toes. And if you're not feeling your glute, you might wanna squeeze your heels together a little bit. It's pretty normal to feel both glutes as we do this because your underneath one is rotating to lift and then your top one is obviously rotating to take the knee up. Let's add a leg extension. So lift the knee, straighten the leg out, bend it back in and lower it down. We lift up, stretch out, bend it back in and lower it down. Keep going with this. Starting to definitely feel a bit more happening there in that left glute. Right glute's working a little bit as well. Check you've still got your gap under your waist. It's actually quite hard to keep that gap when you've got your feet in the air. It's more tempting to shift down, but keep lifting and keep pressing your hip away from you. Okay, we're gonna add a little circle. So we lift the knee, we straighten it out, draw a circle, bend the knee, lower it down. Let's lift, straighten, little circle, bend and lower. Keep going with that, and let's see if we can get our pelvic floor going again. So. Lifting internally, a little three should be plenty for this kind of exercise, and just keep centering everything in that cross shape across your stomach wall. Let's go one more lift up, hold it straight. We've got eight little circles round seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Bend that leg, give your bum a little rub or a pat and then bring that knee to the floor in front of you. We're gonna straighten our bottom leg all the way out here and do some inner thigh work on that bottom leg. From here, raise your bottom leg up off the floor and then lower it back down. Now, it doesn't go high, it's really just a hover. When your leg lifts, I want you to imagine that you're stretching it out away from you. So we're lifting, we're reaching and using the inner thigh. So we're gonna hold for three, two, one, lower down. Lift and hold, three, two, one, lower down. If you feel a bit uncomfortable on the side of your hip, on the side that you're lying on, you can roll a bit more forward and you can bring your weight forward over that bony part and it should feel quite comfortable. Or you can double your mat over um, for a bit more cushioning. I find when I roll forward though, it takes the pressure off. All right, hold it up there and pulse. Little pulses up and down. Try not to let your leg go too low. It's keeping it up about at least halfway. Keep pulsing. And maybe slide your leg back behind you a little bit to really target those inner thighs. Keep going. Let's have another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4. We hold the leg up. 2, lift and hold just for 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, let it go, well done. Open your arm all the way across, find the floor behind you, hold your knee down onto the ground and just enjoy a nice twist there. Get that good stretch. So from here, come forward and come up onto your right elbow. So for our preggy option, knees stay on the ground. For everyone else, we will come up into a side plank unless you want to do the kneeling version. So if you're staying on your knees, your hips lift up like this. If you want your legs out long, your hips lift up like this. Up to you, um, or you can experiment with both. Reach your left hand to the ceiling and then let's lower our hips towards the floor. Now, as we do these little dips, try and keep both hip bones pointing straight forward and really focus on squeezing these underneath ribs towards the hips. Really use your waist there. Lift up as high as you can. Imagine like your body's a banana. You're lifting right up and squeezing those ribs to hips. Let's lift and hold, holding there. Thread the needle, reach under and up. Reaching under and up. Squeezing rib to opposite hip now. Let's do another three of these. Try and lift a little higher. Two, just one more and then we rest all the way down. Hold it and then lower down, well done. Bending both legs, come and sit up in that Z shape position of your legs and let's have some mermaids. So we'll reach left hand to the floor, right arm overhead, get a nice stretch down that side, turn forwards towards the ground and then open back up to the front. Again, down towards the ground and back up to the front. One more time, down to the ground, all the way back up to the front. And then let's swivel our legs around to the other side. So we're laying down on our left side now. Arm out long as a pillow, hand on your hip, get that gap under your waist and then lift your feet into the air. I should have said last time, make sure your feet are a little bit behind you, not in front of you. And then let's start opening and closing. Full range, so we wanna get the knee to lift and then tuck all the way down on top of the other one. And keep your pelvis really square. So that top hip might want to roll backwards a bit as, you knee, as your knee lifts, but you've got to work to keep it square. Otherwise, we're just sort of rotating our hips and we're not using those glute muscles like we should be. So let's again get pelvic floor switching on. Elevate a little bit. It's amazing how you always have to cue it, like it doesn't just do it automatically. But with a lot of training, it will start to happen more automatically. So let's lift. Straighten, bend, and lower. Again, lift, straighten, bend, and lower. And as your leg straightens, your kneecap points up towards the ceiling. Try to think about your thigh rotating outwards to really get that glute going. Lift, straighten, check your pelvic floor's on. Let's add our circle. So we do a little circle, bend, and lower. Lift up, straighten. Circle, bend, and lower. This glute might be a bit tired already from doing the first set too, so we might be feeling a bit more of a burn already on this side. Let's do three more of these. Pelvic floor reminder, check it's still on. Two more before we just finish off with circles. Good, all right, one more. Lift up, straighten out, and let's circle eight. Seven, that's on fire. <laughs> Five, four, three, knee to the ceiling. One, bring it down, well done. Give that a, a rub or a pat, whatever it needs, and then stretch your bottom leg out. So remember, roll your hips forward a little bit. Make sure your leg is out in line with you. It's not forward, it's back. And then we'll start to lift and lower our bottom leg. Lift and lower. Again, options if your hip is a bit sore on the bone, double the mat over, um, or if you've got a cushion nearby, you could pop that underneath, or just roll forward a bit further. Let's add our three second holds. So three, two, one, and lower. Again, three, two, one, and lower. So you wanna feel that working, the inner thigh muscle underneath there. Three, two, one, and lower, keep going. We'll do three more of these before we do our pulses. Check your knee is really straight, so the lifting is coming from your inner thigh, nothing else. All right, let's lift and pulse, little pulses. 
keep going, keep it up, don't let it drop. Toes are pointed, sweep your leg back behind you a little bit further, try not to let it creep forward and keep pulsing. Let's engage that pelvic floor again. A little bit of a lift up to level three, keep pulsing. Five more pulses and then a hold. Three, two, lift and hold. Hold it there just for five, four, three, two, one. Let that leg down. Rotate towards the ceiling. Put your hand on your knee to keep it where it is. And then see if you can reach the ground behind you with that arm. Get a nice spine twist there. Good. Okay, let's come into our side plank. So you've got your kneeling option or your full, full option. Lift the chest away from the ground, lift up through that side there, and then up to you whether you go knees or feet. Let's raise the right hand to the ceiling and start our little dips. So we're lifting from the waist. Try and keep the shoulder really strong. So you're always engaging through the lats there under your armpit, and the, the movement comes more from the waist than from the shoulder. And we want to feel the rib and hips squeeze towards each other, lifting up nice and high. Lift and hold. Let's thread the needle. Thread under and back to the front. Under, rib coming towards the opposite hip here. Back to the front. Stay strong through the shoulder. Stay lifted through your waist. Let's go three more here. And we've got our nice little mermaids. Two. One more. Thread it under. Open it up. Hold a little bit higher. And then let yourself down, well done. Come into that Z-shaped seated position. Sit tall, we'll reach the right hand to the floor, left hand over the head. Feel that nice stretch down that side. And then let's tip forward towards the ground. And then back towards the front. Down towards the ground. And back towards the front one more time, down to the ground. Get that good stretch. And then back to the front, let's sit all the way up and come back onto our hands and knees. So, pressing the ground away. Let's shift our hands forward. Another set of triceps. Let's bring our body forward over the palms. So now your um, arms are vertical. Belly is on. Let's bend those elbows nice and narrow and press. Pressing through the heels of the hands. Keeping the upper back nice and domed. Shoulder blades are far away from each other. We're broadening through the chest and we're really pressing the ground away. Elbow creases point forwards the whole time. Don't let them turn towards each other. Let's go one more and then come halfway down. Little pulses, five, four, three, two, one. Press it back, well done, child's pose. Hold it there. I think we'll be feeling our arms tomorrow. Okay, let's come onto the hands and knees. This time with the hands under the shoulders. Knees under the hips. I want you to stretch your right leg out nice and long. Left arm out in front of you. Belly is on here. Let's go level five pelvic floor and then tap your knee and your elbow together under your body and then stretch them back out long. Let's tap elbow to knee and stretch. Good, so stay nice and strong through that right shoulder. Elbow to knee and stretch. Get a good squeeze through your glute as you stretch that leg out long. Try not to let your tummy sag. Don't let your back arch. Keep it neutral. Two more here. Really good. Squeezing rib to hip. One more. Stretch out. Hold it there. Little pulses through the arm and the leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that down. Well done. Little cat cow rounding. And then arching, and we'll go straight onto the other side after this. And arch, let's come back through centre. Stretching right arm, left leg. Find your stability and then tap elbow to knee. Underneath you, using your stomach muscles here. So we've got a good squeeze through that left glute as the leg goes long. But we're really working through our core here to keep our back neutral and get that pelvic floor switching on. Drawing up towards the belly button. Tap and stretch. I'm getting a bit puffed here now. Tap and stretch. We've got two more. Strong through your left shoulder. One more time. Stretch it out. Hold it long. Little pulses. Up, up, up. Glute squeezing. Belly on. Pelvic floor on. Let's go for five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, one. Come all the way down. Well done. Curl your toes under, hover your knees, and walk it out. One heel at a time, press into the floor. Whew. Finding it hard to talk today. <laughs> Let's keep pedaling those legs while I get my breath back. <clears throat> nice pedal, pedal, pedal. And then press both heels really flat. Push your chest back towards your thighs. Really open up through those shoulders. And then we're going to walk our feet up towards our hands. And then with soft knees, we'll roll all the way up to standing. Bone by bone. Nice and slow. When you get to the top, reach those hands overhead. Draw a big circle. And then let's come to face the front. So we're going to do some wide squats. Take your feet out wide and turn them outwards. So I want your toes turned out. And now I want, kind of like the clams, think of rotating your thighs outwards as well. So your knees are pointing over your second and third toes. Let's just start with our hands and our chest and bend through the knees. Stay quite upright through your body and really open those knees outwards and then press through the heels, stand tall. So we'll sink down, pelvis stays neutral, body stays quite upright and then press through the heels to stand tall. Let's add a shoulder blade squeeze as we stand. So as you stand, press your arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then hands to the chest as we squat. And then we press up, squeeze. Good, keep going here, sink down, and then press up, squeeze the shoulders. Now as those knees bend, rotate them backwards, rotate them back away from you so that you're really getting your glutes to do that rotation. And we're just opening up through those inner thighs. Sink down. Knees wide and then press all the way up. All right, let's sink it down and hold. We've got eight little pulses here. They're not quick pulses. They're quite slow and controlled pulses. And we're just sort of coming up about halfway and then sinking down again. Two, one, press all the way up. Let's do another eight squats. Hands to chest as you squat. Pressing up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Sink down and then press up. Really rotate those thighs. Turn your knees back behind you and make sure your kneecaps are pointing over your second and third toes. They might want to roll in a bit. If they do, I'd turn your feet a bit more narrow so that you're um, able to turn the knees outwards and up. Sorry, I'm really puffed today. A few too many rosés last night, I think. Let's stay low and pulse. Good, slow, controlled pulses. Knees wide, body upright, pelvis neutral, pelvic floor on. Three, we've got one more round, two, one, press it up, squeeze those shoulder blades, and then squat down and press up. Squat down, press up, good. Every time you stand tall, see if you can use pelvic floor. So you can let it go on the way down and then switch it on as you press up. Off on the way down, on on the way up. Let's do another four here before our final set of pulses. Three, press it up, two, one more, sink it down, hold it low. Eight little pulses just to finish things off. Six, try not to rush through. Knees back, four, fire in the legs. Two, one, stand all the way tall, well done. Let's bend into that left knee. We'll come back into our side to side stretches and then swap sides. You might have to move your feet a little bit to feel like you're in the right spot for these stretches. Switching side to side, over again, and over again. Come through the middle, straighten through both of your legs. Walk your hands around to the side of the left foot like we started with again. And then walk your hands around, other side. Back through the middle, one more time to each side. And side. And let's bring our hands back to the centre, heel and toe your feet back to hip width apart. Once you're there, let's bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Keep alternating here. And then let's straighten through the left, reach the left hand to the ceiling. Come back through the middle, straighten into the right, reach the right hand to the ceiling. One more time for each side. Really enjoying this nice stretch. One more time to the right. Back through the middle, soften both of your knees, 
Press the ground away, really push through your heels. Use your muscles here. Roll yourself up as slowly as you can. Really stacking the spine. Let's draw one big circle with our arms. And then give the shoulders a roll and we're all done. 